when you hear the sharing economy, how do you think this plays into this Africa uh, leapfrogging? So we need to find the ways to train the future. And we need to train the people of the future the, and, and how you're going to operate. And that is something we can play, okay? Because I don't think it's currently, as you say, the construct of universities today and how you go through it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. So what corporates can do, actually, is how do we help the future actually to change? Mm -hmm. And that can be anywhere from your customer that you mustn't forget about to the people working with you. How is the future job going to look like? And how is your future customer going to look like? Because the risk we run at the moment of technology is we're actually moving further away from our customers sometimes because mm -hmm. you put technology in between. Yeah, and I think coming back to you, what is the corporate role to play is actually how do we change people, help people to change rather? Because mm -hmm. that's the challenge at the moment. What do you tell your child today to study, for example? I mean, what are you going to say to them? I mean, I studied engineering. It was very easy those days. Was engineering was a doctor or you become a teacher or you play sport when I was young. Now you've got all of this, but what does it mean? Because mm -hmm. if, you, if you, someone comes to you with a CV today and his CV is, I studied one subject in engineering, one in teaching, one year, one day, you're gonna, people are going to laugh at you. But as a corporate, we can change that. So exactly. That was going to lead into my next question. How do we equip the, the children of the future? How do we make sure that in five to ten years, our kids are ready to take on this new world that they're going to be living in? So if you look at education, that's definitely one of the key aspects and key pillars that we have to drive off to change. Curriculum-wise, which is first, and uh, okay, I'm not going to take example of South Africa, but it's, I think it's even overall worldwide, is how do we change the curriculum to be more forced into STEM or STEAM, what we call it, put the art in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, how do we drive this towards the first early age and the childhood? Uh, moving toward the, the current curriculum that needs to change now, but as well taking care of the people that just moved out, the curriculum mm -hmm. which was existing, which was not proper to that. And I think one of the aspects as well is entrepreneurship. How do you develop the education around entrepreneurship that can develop this model that people can do and create and use technology to create new business model? Mm -hmm. And then come back to innovation point is how do you create this innovation hub or incubators model that you can follow up with these guys to create a sustainable model? Um, and I think this education from childhood towards creating business is what needs to be changed. And if you have to ask the policymakers to drive it into government, that's probably one of the biggest mm -hmm. things. Uh, to change rapidly, I would say.